So if I refresh this animation and start right from the beginning, you can see this Arctic air that I've been talking about, that the models continue to move closer and closer to our region. By Saturday afternoon, you can see temperatures dropping in northern areas of the lower 48. But notice how that Arctic air spreads east instead of south. It comes in our direction and then it does not continue to move in our direction. Now as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, it looks like it starts to drop down into the southern plains a little more. And it is going everywhere around us. It's going to our west, it's going to our north. And by next Friday the 12th, you see another air mass start to intrude. And this one goes deeper. And it comes in our direction. And by the 13th, it is bearing down on the mountains. And wham, it actually collides with the mountains right around Valentine's Day. If this is accurate, that could be when our Arctic outbreak occurs. Now I'm taking a look at the trend for the 13th from the GFS. And I think this includes something like 8 runs, maybe 10. And um, what this is showing us is what the GFS has been thinking about for the past 10 runs with respect to this arctic outbreak that is threatening to materialize and plunge our temperatures and so the last two runs are showing a consistent outbreak occurring and then when you get further back They've inconsistently moved the cold air around by this point. It could be cold. It might be a little cold. It might be a lot cold. It might be barely cold. My inclination is to believe that the model is going to begin trending towards cold to very cold on this date. And I think we're going to see signals of that if we... Now checking on Pivotal Weather's website, the European model, as of 0Z last night, shows these temperatures. As you can see, the European model is not in agreement with the GFS. It does have some cold air coming down around the same time, but temperatures are far warmer than what the GFS is showing as of this morning so it is still unreliable either model could be right it could be anywhere in between maybe spring really will come early at least for areas far enough to the south however that doesn't mean there is no snowfall left we could still see snowfall even in areas of the south as you can see by the 234 hour map on the European model.